Let's solve problem number 6 on recurrences using substitution. Here is the problem. Solve the following recurrence relation tn equal to square root of n t square root of n plus n if n is greater than 2. If n is equal to 2, then tn is equal to 2. This is the recurrence relation and we need to solve this recurrence relation. This time the algorithm is not given. We do not have to write the recurrence relation and then solve it using the substitution method. This time we have the recurrence relation and we need to solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method. So now let's try to solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method. We know according to the substitution method, we need to start from the recursive case that is tn equal to square root of n t square root of n plus n. So, let's start from tn equal to square root of n t square root of n plus n. This is the big problem to solve. The small problem is tn equal to 2 if n is equal to 2. If n is 2, then tn is a constant and this constant is 2. This is the small problem and hence this represents the base case. We are starting from the recursive case according to the substitution method. Now let's substitute t square root of n by square root of square root of n times t square root of square root of n plus square root of n. We know we can represent square root of n as n power 1 by 2. So we can replace square root of n by n power 1 by 2. Here also we can replace square root of n by n power 1 by 2. So tn is same as n power 1 by 2 times t n power 1 by 2 plus n. Now in place of t n power 1 by 2, we can write n power 1 by 4 because square root of square root of n is same as n power 1 by 2 times 1 by 2. 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. So we will get n power 1 by 4 and here also within parentheses we will get n power 1 by 4 because n will be replaced by square root of n. This is square root of square root of n. Again, this is n power 1 by 2 times 1 by 2. So, we will get n power 1 by 4 here. So, this is t n power 1 by 4. Then here, we will get square root of n or we can write it as n power 1 by 2. So, clearly, t square root of n or t n power 1 by 2 is same as n power 1 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4 plus n power 1 by 2. So, this is the new tn so obtained. Here we have written n power 1 by 2 as it is. This is square root of n. We are writing it as it is. And then we have t square root of n and then plus n according to this expression. t square root of n is replaced by n power 1 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4 plus n power 1 by 2. Now we know this is the new tn in terms of t n power 1 by 4. Now we need to multiply n power 1 by 2 by n power 1 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4. And we need to multiply n power 1 by 2 by n power 1 by 2. Now let's open these brackets and let's multiply n power 1 by 2 by these two terms. Here we will get n power 1 by 2 times n power 1 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4. What do we get from here? What is the multiplication of n power 1 by 2 and n power 1 by 4? We know when the bases are same, then the powers will add. So we need to add 1 by 2 and 1 by 4. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. So we can write n power 3 by 4 here. So, we'll get n power 3 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4. And then we need to multiply n power 1 by 2 by n power 1 by 2. We know here the bases are same, so the powers will add. And 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 only. So, we will get n power 1 here. This means we will get n here. Now, we have n plus n. And n plus n is equal to 2n. So, we will get 2n here. So, this expression is same as n power 3 by 4 times t n power 1 by 4 plus 2n. Now, 
लेट्स सब्सटीट्यूट टी एन पावर वन बाय फोर बाय एन पावर वन बाय एट बिकॉज स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन पावर वन बाय फोर इज सेम एज एन पावर वन बाय फोर टाइम्स वन बाय टू सो इन द पावर वन बाय फोर इज मल्टीप्लाई टू वन बाय टू वी विल गेट वन बाय एट एज द पावर ऑफ एन सो वी विल गेट एन पावर वन बाय एट टाइम्स टी एन पावर वन बाय एट प्लस एन पावर वन बाय फोर बिकॉज एन should be replaced by n power 1 by 4 so tn power 1 by 4 is same as n power 1 by 8 times tn power 1 by 8 plus n power 1 by 4 so new tn is equal to n power 3 by 4 times tn power 1 by 4 plus 2n this is tn power 1 by 4 Which is same as n power one by eight times t n power one by eight plus n power one by four. Now we need to open these brackets, and we need to multiply n power three by four by n power one by eight, and n power three by four by n power one by four. What is the multiplication of these two terms? Here we know the bases are same, so we need to add the powers. Three by four plus one by eight. is same as 7 by 8 we can follow the same process which we have followed for 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 in the same way we can add 3 by 4 and 1 by 8 we will get 7 by 8 so we will get n power 7 by 8 here and n power 7 by 8 will be multiplied to t n power 1 by 8 and here we have n power 1 by 4 we now need to multiply n power 1 by 4 by n power 3 by 4 what is the addition of 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 we need to add these two powers because the bases are same 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is same as 4 by 4 and 4 by 4 is equal to 1 so we'll get n only and n plus 2n is 3n so the new expression so obtained is n power 7 by 8 times t n power 1 by 8 plus 3n this is the value of tn now we can see the pattern here we have n power 1 by 2 here we know square root is same as 1 by 2 so it is n power 1 by 2 and this is n power 3 by 4 and here we have n power 7 by 8 we can observe in the power of n the denominator is always the powers of 2 here in the power the denominator is 2 which is 2 power 1 Here we have four, which is two power two. Here we have eight, which is two power three. So it is clear that the denominators are always two power something. And what about the numerator? Here we can observe the numerators are always one less than the denominators. Here we have three because we have four here. Here we have seven because we have eight here. Here we have one because we have two in the denominator. So clearly, if the denominator is 2 power some k then the numerator must be 2 power k minus 1 so this part is clear now what about tn power something here we can observe we have tn power 1 by 4 these two denominators are same here also these two denominators are same so it is clear it is tn power 1 by 2 power k as we are assuming the denominator of the power of n is 2 power k so here also we will have 2 power k now what about the remaining part here we have plus 3n in this case we have plus 2n in this case we have plus n so it is clearly k times n because here we have 1 by 2 power 3 here we have 1 by 2 power 2 we know we are representing the power of 2 as k and here we have 2 power 3 because the power of 2 is 3 here also we have 3 here we have 2 power 2 because the power of 2 is 2 here we have 2 here we have 1 by 2 as the power of n and this means the power of 2 is 1 that is why we have 1 here so it is clear this is k times n so if we proceed in this way then the generalized expression is in this form tn is n power 2 power k minus 1 divide by 2 power k 
टाइम्स टी एन पावर वन बाय टू पावर के प्लस के टाइम्स एन दिस इज द इक्वेशन सो ऑप्टेन्ड नाउ वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट के इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन बिकॉज एन रिप्रेजेंट्स द साइज ऑफ द इनपुट एंड इवेंचुअली वी वांट टू रिप्रेजेंट टी एन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एसिमटोटिक नोटेशन वेयर वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द इनपुट साइज hence it is important to represent k in terms of the input size also we need to eliminate t n power 1 by 2 power k for this let's assume n power 1 by 2 power k is equal to 2 this means the base case is reached then only n power 1 by 2 power k will be replaced by 2 here we can observe if n is 2 then we will get t 2 here Here in place of n we have n power one by two power k, so we need to assume n power one by two power k as two. We will get t two here, and t two is equal to two. So eventually, t n power one by two power k will be replaced by a constant, and the constant in this case is two. So let us assume n power one by two power k is equal to two. Now from this we can easily find the value of k. In order to find the value of k, we need to bring k to the base. And for this, we know what we need to do. We need to take log on both sides. Here we have the constant two, so we will take log base two on both sides. Here we will get log n power one by two power k base two, and in the right hand side we will get log two base two. So the left hand side is log n power one by two power k base two. And the right hand side is log two base two. What is log two base two? Log two base two is one. What about log n power one by two power k base two? We know the property of logarithm. Log a power b base c is same as b times log a base c. So one by two power k comes in front of log n base two. So we are getting one by two power k times log n base two in the left hand side. and one in the right hand side of the equation now how do we solve this it is simple to solve this type of equation we need to multiply 2 power k on both sides in this way we can remove this denominator we will get log n base 2 in the left hand side and 2 power k in the right hand side this is the equation so obtained log n base 2 is same as 2 power k Now we know we want to find the value of k, and k is in the power of two. We need to bring k to the base. For this, we will take log once again, and this time also we will take log base two on both sides because here the constant is two. So let's take log base two on both sides. After applying log base two on both sides, we will get log n base two log base two in the left hand side. And log two power k base two in the right hand side. So this is the equation so obtained. We know log two power k base two is same as k times log two base two, which is equal to k. That's why we are getting k here. And here in the left hand side we have log n base two log base two. So this is the value of k in terms of n. Now here we can observe. that 2 power k can be replaced by log n base 2 directly so we can replace 2 power k by log n base 2 we will get n power log n base 2 minus 1 divide by log n base 2 now we can replace n power 1 by 2 power k by 2 we will get t2 here and t2 is equal to 2 we already know this from this recurrence relation So we can replace t n power one by two power k by two. So this is the expression so obtained. We are getting n power log n base two minus one divided by log n base two times two, and here we have k times n. We know what's the value of k. K is equal to log n base two log base two. So let's replace k by log n base two log base two. Here we are getting n times log n base 2 log base 2 now let's focus on this fraction here we have log n base 2 minus 1 divide by log n base 2 we can rewrite this as 1 minus 1 by log n base 2 so in place of log n base 2 minus 
divide by log n base 2, we can write 1 minus 1 by log n base 2. Now we can rewrite this as n power 1 divide by n power 1 by log n base 2 because the sign here is minus. If we have plus here, then it will be n power 1 times n power 1 by log n base 2. But as we have minus here, we will get n power 1 divide by n power 1 by log n base 2. So, this is the fraction so obtained. Now, the interesting part. Here we have n power 1 by log n base 2. We know n power 1 by 2 power k is equal to 2. And what is 2 power k? 2 power k is log n base 2. So, we can replace 2 power k by log n base 2. We will get n power 1 by log n base 2 equal to 2. Here also we have n power 1 by log n base 2. So, we can replace n power 1 by log n base 2 by 2. So, we will get n by 2 times 2 here. We can easily cancel 2 by 2. We will get n here. So, the expression so obtained is n plus n times log n base 2, log base 2. Now, what do you think? Out of these two, which is the dominating term? Here we have n times 1. 1 is the constant. Here we have n times log n base 2, log base 2. Log n base 2, log base 2 is the logarithmic function. We know the growth rate of the logarithmic function is greater than the growth rate of the constant function. In both these terms, n is common. But this is n times 1 and this is n times log n base 2, log base 2. Here n is multiplied by the constant function and here n is multiplied by the logarithmic function. Clearly, the growth rate of n times the logarithmic function is greater than the growth rate of n times the constant function. Therefore, this is the leading term here and hence Tn is equal to pico of n log log n. Tn is represented based on the leading term, which is n log log n. There is no need to write the basis. We can write the asymptotic notation like this. In the asymptotic notation, we do not have to mention the basis and the constants. That's why we have n log log n here. So, Tn is big O of n log log n. Now we have understood how to solve these type of complex recurrence relations and that too using the substitution method. So with this, we are done with this topic and we are done with this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.